I studied physics in undergraduate at Imperial College and then I've recently completed my PhD all through the physics department at Imperial. I currently work on making ultra cold molecules so this involves basically lasers and magnetic fields and you can use the power of the laser to slow down, trap and cool molecules to really, really low temperatures, like millionths of a degree above absolute zero, which is the theoretical limit of temperature. If you can get these molecules really still so that you can control them, you can put them into a sort of an array. So you have lots of individual molecules next to each other and you can control each one. Then you can set up a quantum system and do something to it and set it going and see what happens. So if we could build a system like this where you have actual quantum system or individual quantum bits um, interacting with each other in a controlled way, then you could actually model out a quantum system within a material. There's this entire theory of quantum mechanics which works really well to describe things but no one really knows why or how we just it's mathematics at the moment no i didn't plan at all to be a physicist i i really wanted to do physics at university but i had no interest in in continuing until i'd done my msi project i there's two things that i think are probably equal so one is the fact that everything that i do is new and that no one has ever done it before and we don't really know how it's going to go and that's just really exciting and then the other thing is the variety so what i do on a day-to-day -day basis is just always different a lot of the times it's not necessarily what i want it to do it could be because something broke and then i get to fix it but i get to be really practical and i can build a new electronics board or i can make some optics or i can fix a laser or I could sit there and take data all day, or analyse data, or you write a paper, or you do all this stuff. I would like to tell my teenage self to not be so intimidated by masculine activities, because things like knowing how a computer works and being able to use a soldering iron and build stuff is just so useful and they're skills I've had to learn to do.